So this is a little trick where you learn how to keep the topology clean um, in an area where you don't want to add details and add the details in another area without influencing the other surrounding geometry. So it's a bit more of like an advanced thing or method to learn in a beginner's series, but I want to give you the um, this method anyhow because I think it's quite quite important and it's um, give you a little bit on an outlook on what you can learn when you dive deeper into uh, polygon modeling with subdivision surfaces. Um, to give credit where credit is due, this is not the method I came up with myself. It's from the Making It Look Create 11 series and I think it's uh, Toby Pittman who came up with the, with the name of this method and also uh, with the kind of the way he explained it. So um, this, this thing is called Borrowed Edge and um, basically what we have here is a subdivision surface object with a extruded centerpiece um, cube thing in the middle. So if I want to define the edges of this kind of cube here uh, and I want to make the edges more hard and um, edgy, what I would normally do is basically to add loop cuts uh, in every direction. So something like this, um, this direction, that direction. So basically like three cuts from every, from every angle. And then also we need a cut over here and over here. So that would be the general approach to kind of get the look of having hard edges here on the, on the center part. Um, actually missed one, this one. Um, so yes, yeah, you can see the result is fine and we actually didn't run into a problem, but as you could imagine that if we have some other geometry over here and all those cuts would go uh, a looping through our geometry that is kind of messy and uh, yeah, kind of leads to, to a messy mesh. So there's another way to do this um, and this will keep all the detailing here in our center region. So what you like to do is we want to add a new edge into the game here. And we do this for every corner, but I will start with this kind of corner over here. So basically what we will do is we add a new edge and this is called the borrowed edge because this new edge later on will help us to get kind of the, the polygon flow uh, nice and tidy. So what we then do is we select the next like cornering point here and what before was like the loop cut through all the mesh is just now this kind of cut which goes from here to here and then the same thing on this side just to this kind of outside area and same thing here we would need this kind of borrowed edge here um, then from the other direction um, it's like this way around and let me speed that up a little bit but not going through the end here um, and now as you can see maybe what we can actually do is we can get rid of those two edges um, because now we have two triangles here and also two triangles here but if I go ahead and dissolve those two edges we actually get a quad shaped polygon again all right so as you can see now we have the detail here on the corner um, and then we don't have any more detail than that going and influencing our mesh on, in the other areas. So let me finish that up here uh, on the other directions and then we uh, see how that turns out in the end. Like this, add the borrowed edge over here and then doing it like this down there to this side and then we already got this over here all right now let's get rid of the unnecessary edges this and this 
and those ones. Okay, so now you can go to the loop cut again and cut one cut here on the top, one on the bottom. And now you can see because of those edge flow over here, we can also add a nice cut around the floor part here of this kind of object. If I activate my subdivision surface object again, you can see we get kind of the same result or maybe the exact same result, but we have nice topology. There's something going on over here on the top, which I'm not sure where this is coming from. I think there's maybe a point too much. Yeah, there it is. Let's delete this. And then we get the nice kind of shape. And as you can see, the topology is very clean on the outside area and we only have the details where we need it. So you can try to bring this concept into the polygon modeling workflow. Um, but yeah, it takes some iteration and some trial and error to get that every time you're doing complex polygon models. But I think it's a very useful method to keep your topology clean.